So it's all about in the beginning, as you're rolling out ads in the very, very beginning, you're targeting a cold market, right? Especially if you're, if there's no retargeting and, and you're just setting up ad sets and you're going after this demographics and, and that's your, your, your ideal avatar and, and you know who you're targeting. However, it's still a cold market. If you're not retargeting, if they're not, if they've never watched a previous video, that's a cold market. So it's not until later when you start retargeting people, when you start to really see an ROI. And then as you start to do that, then you start having conversions. But, 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 but all that, with that being said, like if you look at your ad sets, you have all those targeting, right? When, those, when, when you hit 100 people on that, thank you for purchasing, because all of this, 30 to 65, home and garden, guarding, all that stuff, all of that is set up to do one thing, and that's to get us a sell. Once you get that sell, again, that's the 100. So once 100 people land on that final page, then you take that page. And, and, and let, why don't we do that now? Let's, I'm sure you have it set up. I'm sure we did that before, but unless you change the page. I haven't changed but anything. So when go I go to, to edit. Um, go to the, the dots in the top left and go to audiences. So what you want to do first is you want to create an audience if, if we haven't already, but I'm pretty sure you have an audience. Of, now, let's, now let's, if, I, if, I, if this is checked. Click is on the this, dots. No, the, yeah, right there. What is it? Okay. And then go to audiences. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to look for um, customers. That's what it strictly is. It, it, it's customers. So um, right there, SWS, SWS course customers. That's the one, right? Mm -hmm. So just double check that link. So check the box, click edit, or you can just hover over it. Is that the actual link? Um. Yes, that's the link. That's the thank you. That's the thank you page. Okay, perfect. So if that's been set up this whole time, which I'm assuming it has been, it was it was created, actually it was created in August. So it was created August 14th. So that audience should be good to go, man. What you want to do now is turn that turn that audience into a lookalike audience. So check the box. And now this is when you start leveraging Facebook. And all you're going to do is simply click on um, click on those dots right there to the right, the three dots. Yeah, click on the three dots and then create lookalike. So now you're going to tell Facebook, hey, man, I've, I've done all the targeting I, I had to do. I achieved my goal. More than 100 people have landed in this audience. Now, Facebook, you go do your magic and go find me people who resemble and reflect these exact people. And that's what Facebook does. And so now as you go run future ads, this will, you'll still split test. You'll still target different ad sets and you'll still try to do different and target and retarget different, different audiences. However, this will be one specific ad set. So just like you have the four ad sets set up, this will be the fifth one. This will be one specific ad set where what you're doing is you're retargeting your lookalike audience. And, and it's mm -hmm. these audiences, man, I've, I've studied many, many people, especially course creators that scale their, 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 their courses to the moon. Their money is in the lookalike audience. This is where you take it to the next, next level, because now you're no longer having to really rely on your knowledge of your target market. Now you're relying on Facebook's data because they're matching your hundred customer audience. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, so select your audience. That's the audience we want to look alike. And then we're going to um, um, uh, select a country. And this is, again, this is where the magic happens, man. This is where you can literally take it across the world because now you can, you can tell Facebook, hey man, here's a hundred customers. Go find me people that look exactly like this that live in freaking Germany. You know, that's when you can really take it to the next level. But if you want to focus on just the US for now, that's fine. Totally just do US, um, but you can go Canada. Like I would, I would for sure, like, you don't have to do, you don't have to run this specific ad now, but at the same time, like, I'm just kind of planting the seed in your mind where it's like, this is where it gets big. Like, this is where it gets big as your lookalike audiences. Um, um, because, because again, if it, we're, we're, what we're, what we're building here and what we're building off of, I should say, is a custom audience of, of 100 customers. That's proof. That's these people landed there no matter what. That's what we're building a pond. In the beginning, we're trying to, and so if we were doing this in the ad set and we were just setting up the ad from a cold market, from a cold ad, we're putting in Germany, we're putting in Canada, we're putting in the UK. 
Facebook doesn't know if your exact client is there just yet, right? They still have to run your ads. They still have, you still have to start building that pixel. You have to start building that custom audience. There's a lot of work prior to that conversion happening because you're telling Facebook, hey, man, try to find me someone in this area. But if I'm giving Facebook the data, I'm saying, hey, man, I already got these people. Go find me the same exact one in freaking Berlin. That's different. Like, that's different. They're mirroring your exact customer. That's different. That's a lookalike audience. Mm -hmm. So, so, um, so, so my, into the so country. my, my, sorry to interrupt. My challenge, I think, is, is not understanding that concept and what I want to go after. It's just the, the technical aspects of yeah. setting it up, making sure that, yeah, 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 yeah. everything's yeah. done inside here. Mm -hmm. Um, reading the analytics yeah. right of yeah. you know back on uh well let's you know, quit we're here real quick actually okay never mind it's okay go ahead no i was gonna say since we're there real quick just create the lookalike audience just to create it just so you can have it there but it's okay you can show me something else this one here yeah just here. check the box and then and then click on the three dots and let's just do the us for now just do create lookalike and then um you're basing it off of that specific audience course customers and then just choose the united states that's perfect choose that one and then what you're going with is you're going with um um yeah that's fine us is all you need and then and then you'll just create each one independently in, individually create each one individually in the next country canada do that one separately so and leave it at 1% because 1% is, you can see it right there, estimated reach 2.4 million. So 1% of US based off of that audience, that's way more people than you can ever, ever, ever get to, especially if your budget isn't in the thousands per day. You know what I mean? So yeah, you don't need 2%, 3%, 4%. That's when you're taking it to the moon. That's when you're spending 10,000 a day. You'll go up to 5% when you're spending 10,000 a day which is ridiculous, but people spend that much for sure. Um, so right now, 1%, that's all you need. So create audience and, and, and let that start to build. So let Facebook go to work. Once you click that, now Facebook is out there working. They're going to go out there and start populating that audience. And so I would give it a couple of days, give it a couple of days. If you're going to run that anytime soon at all, just at least give it a couple of days. And then that could be one ad set where you're targeting that lookalike audience. And so, but go on. I know what you're saying. You don't really have the time or the, even the patience for all this stuff. Well, I, I would, I would love to, um, yeah. yeah, you know, obviously this is, it's going to be my role in our partnership to, you know, be running these ads. Um, now if I was to go back to, where's just getting back to, so let's say I want to turn on, I want to change these to what you were saying, $5 a day as, as opposed to 25, because this is a daily, right? Yeah, that's daily. And and I wouldn't, these these were ads that were shut off a while ago. So I wouldn't restart those. I would redo them. So so I would leave it there. You don't have to delete it, but but you want to go create a fresh a fresh one. Um, and then, yeah, change that, change that budget. So you'll have, you know, four looking at 25 right there. And then you'll have four, you know, at five bucks, which are new. So leave those just as a, you know, just as a blueprint, but yeah. I would go create, I'd go create new, new ad sets or new ads, new ads. So it's all based off of ads this here. video. Yeah. Well, just a whole new ad, click the green button and just go through the whole darn thing again. Like I would just go create a whole new, a whole new ad. So you can run it to the same video, but what I'm saying is that you, once that ad is off, it's off. Like you don't want to turn it back on. Once the ad is on, you don't want to edit too much about it on it. Like that, that's the thing. You don't want to throw off the ad once it's why on. Do, why, or wouldn't once you it's wanna, why wouldn't you want to turn an ad back on once it's turned off? Especially, was it performing at all? Or was it just not perform? Was it not even performing? There, there were two that were, I, I thought. I mean, I think you let's indicated get, that. Two of, yeah, let's, two let's look at the were, numbers real quick. Okay. And, and what we want to do too is we want to set up the, the custom columns. And that's why there's a lot of stuff to this pastor. We'll be on this call for a while. Um, 
but there's a lot of cleaning up that that we would want to do for sure. Like this column, the the top ad set name, delivery, bid strategy, budget. We want to customize that column so it actually well, we, reflects. I, Didn't you customize it? I'm sure you did we, that. We right? did go. We did go through that. So that um, column's yeah. performance, click on that and you should have saved your, your um, custom column. So if you, yeah, right there, SWS presentation. So what, click on that? Yeah, click on that one. And then that would just kind of show you um, your actual numbers, your conversions. Click on, click on, um, yes, yeah, yeah, scroll back. So you have, um, there it is. So cost per, and then, and then you want to change the date as well. So at the very top right, just go to lifetime, hit that drop down on the date. You have a December 1st to the 4th. That's why you're seeing uh -huh. that. That's why you're not seeing any. So click on that drop down this month and just click oh, on right um, lifetime. Yeah, click on lifetime. Just go to lifetime to the right, lifetime. Okay, so, so go to, okay, so, so scroll to the left a little bit. No, the, the others actually right there's fine right there's fine okay so so that many leads 22 22 70 30 and then and then the cost per those aren't that's the see see so that's my that's what i was trying to say earlier you know so as you run this like 435 you could have shut off you know 438 you could have shut off and then and then and then went all in with the last two Mm -hmm. you know, that that's, and so when you're doing that on a bigger scale, so five, 10, 15, 20, when we're doing that, when we're doing five times 10, and now we're at $50 per day. Now we're now we're really cranking and 50 bucks. It's like, man, we're making a 100 bucks minimum per so it's like, how can we not spend 50? How can we not be spending 100? How can we not go five bucks times freaking 20 different ad sets? Yeah. That's where it's at, at is the ad sets is the ad sets and then and then retargeting your custom audiences, those who are watching the videos and landing on the landing page, but not opting in. And then um, and then and then making sure that your 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 lookalike audience is 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 is, is cranking, which it, it's set up now. So the lookalike audience, what you'll want to start doing since you have a global product, you literally have a global product. What I would start doing is I would start creating lookalike. That, that's where a lot of the assets would. So if I were to jump into this, I'd go create probably, I'd probably go create five, at least a minimum of five different lookalike audiences. And those would be five, five of my ad sets. I would create a lookalike audience for Canada, a lookalike audience for the, for the United Kingdom, a lookalike audience for the US, pick the English states, English countries, right? English speaking countries, focus on maybe five of them, lookalike, 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 lookalike. And let that be five of your 10 ad sets because, because you have enough data, that custom audience, you have enough data on that. Thank you for, thank you for purchasing page. So that needs to be a lookalike audience right away. That's where your money's at. That's where, that's where you leverage Facebook's data or not just Facebook's data. That's where you leverage Facebook's knowledge. Like on where how, how, do, how do we know we, how do we determine there's enough information for Facebook on my thank you page? Very good question, because one way to look at it is the Karcher count. So the fact that you had that many customers, that many people landed on that page. And so as long as that pixel was set so up, even the though page, they didn't come in, even though they didn't come in from the ad. Yep. Yep. Even though they didn't come in from the ad, they still landed on that page and your gotcha. pixel was still tracking it. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yes. So now, 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 now that number will not reflect here. The right. count, the lead, the, the customer count, because they didn't come in through here. But sure. The data, but since that pixel's there, yeah, man. Facebook yeah. still knows. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's why it's good to have your pixel on everything, even if you're not running ads, because you might as well let Facebook collect the data, you know? Yeah. So multiple ad sets, creating lookalike audiences. That's that's where you're at. You need to, you need to duplicate what you got. You got four. Let, go do eight. But but let the other four be, be lookalike audiences because you're there now. Most are not there yet. You have a lot of data on that on that pixel on that customer pixel. Most are not there yet. So so you have the ability. You're in a very unique position. You're you're in a very special position because you have the ability to go create those lookalike audiences. Most don't get there. 
So, so I would go create a bunch of lookalike audiences and, and make those your ad sets. Okay. Now, so did we create that other one? Did we create that one lookalike already? Yeah. You created the lookalike for, for the U S and then just maybe, you know, think of a handful of other countries that you'd want. Right. But where, where is that? Is it an actual ad over here in the ad set? No, no, it's not. It's not a, it's, it's when you go and it's like, for example, it's when you go and create an ad. Okay. Or you can even, you can even, I mean, you can even add it right here. But again, once the ad is off, and especially if it's been off for a while, I've, I've just been told to not, not even turn it back on, just go and do another ad. Now you okay. can test it. You can for sure go back in here and turn it back on and, and see what happens. I just, I just haven't really been taught that way. But again, every way is a little different. Everyone has a different strategy, really, to tell you the truth. So either go turn it, but at the same time, like you're going to, you're going to completely drop the budget per ad set. So I'd go do a whole new one. Just go do a whole new ad. Hit, hit the green one and just go create a whole new ad. And well, this then, is campaign. So I come over here to ads, right? No, no. Just if, if you just click on the green button, if you just start from scratch, like just start from scratch and just hit that green button. So a new campaign, a new campaign. A yeah. Full, a full blown new campaign. Yeah. And I'm going to do that for, let's say I'm, I'm going to go from the four to eight. So I'm going to have four new ones. I would start with a new campaign. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what you can do just so it's not so time consuming is you can, you can, you can always save that audience. So if you go to the ad sets, all those ad sets, you could, you could save them. Like you can save that audience, women, 30 to 65 raw foodism, like you can save that audience. And now it's a saved audience. So now when you hit that green button and you start from scratch, you don't have to go do all the micro searching. You just go okay. to the saved audience. And so where, how do I save that then? Click on edit. Right here. Yes. Yeah. Edit name. Ed, the edit right below the title, the word edit right below the title right there. Okay. So then now you can just simply scroll down and you'll see save audience. So if you go down, go down right in this area, let's see, um, right, here. right there, save this audience. And you wanna be very, you wanna name it exactly what, what you titled it. So exactly first add women 30 to 60 plus, plus raw foodism, like name it exactly that, right? Like give it the same name just so, um, Yeah. So now as you go in and, and, and run future ads, then all you're going to do, I'll show you where to put that, where, where to plop that in at. All you're going to do is just simply scroll okay, so up. Now if, now, if I go back to, what do I exit out of this? No, 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 no. Stay here real quick. Let me show you where to, where to, where, hit, hit, uh, yeah. Hit the X. Oh. Yeah. See, so now you made a change to it. So now, um, it's going to want you to review and publish, but see, you're not, you're not, it's not live, but you still want to hit that blue button review and publish. Where is that? The top right. Oh, review and publish. And all you really did, you didn't, you didn't change much. You just simply. Is your card not um, updated on? Why did yeah, we, we had took to... out your card. Okay. Yeah. Just forget about this part. It's all good. Forget about this part. Do this part later, but go back to the, um, to the edit. Let me show you click on. Yeah. Right there. Click on edit. So as you click on that green button, create mm -hmm. to the left, right. And you start a whole new ad. This is where you start to, to put in your audiences. So if you scroll down, scroll down and it's right here. So where are your, um, okay. So right here, use, use save audiences. So click on, um, where is your, let's see, go, go up a little bit here, create new or use so save audience. Go, um, go, go, um, hit see more options right there. So if you click right there, these are where your audiences are at. So there's your, there's your, um, your, um, your, yeah, click on custom audience. Which is the one you saved? Was it a lookalike audience? No, it wasn't a look. Well, there's your lookalike audience. So, so yeah, you would 
you would simply click on that and now you would retarget your lookalike audience. But the one that you saved, the 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 first yeah, ad was, window, uh... you saved it, right? Or did you X yeah, out? I I actually I don't I think it let it. you save it. It didn't let you save, right? Because it took you straight to the credit card. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you would have saved it, then it would be it would be right there, and and this would be a whole new ad, and you just okay. plop it in right there. Okay. So, but that's where, and then and then also also what you're gonna always do. Always, 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 always on every ad, every ad set, whatever, everything you do from this point on, you're going to always exclude your customers. Your customers should not be seeing any more ads pertaining to this exact offer. So if you scroll up, click on exclude. So right there, you would exclude down, down, down. You missed this right there. Exclude down, exclude. So click on exclude. And then you can exclude, um, click in the box, search existing audiences. No, down, down, go to the next box, down, right there. And then now you'll just exclude customers, SWS course customers. You got to always exclude them from, from these ads. Okay. Okay. Because that's going to save you money as well, is not, re, not, you know, not targeting the same people that already bought. Right. Gotcha. You know, so, so I mean, obviously. So, so I think I can set these. I can set these up here. So if I exit out of here. So if I save these mm -hmm. as save existing, them. save them. Yep. And then I create a whole new campaign. I go mm -hmm. through that whole process. They're going to be here. Now, if I just I turn them on by clicking this here on the new well, ones or. No, on the new ones, once the new ones, once you set it up, you click on the green create button and you go through the full setup. It's going to be in review and it'll go live whenever you set it to go live and it'll already be blue. So you don't have to shift anything blue like these ones are already off. So I would leave those off and just go do a whole yeah. again, do a whole new one. But they'll already be blue. They'll already be blue. They'll be they'll be set to go live once they're approved. OK, so um, kind of back to you know, what you're doing and what I have more at $5 a day, four of them, three of them aren't working mm -hmm. and I turn them off. Does that money go and up, up, uh, up the cost of the ones I'm running or do I just leave them running at $5, the two? No, what you can do is what, what we'll do is we'll set up like, for example, let's go from the very beginning, hit the green button. This is how you'll start to do it in the future. For, so from this point on, here's how you're going to do it. And I'm going to show you the new way, the new way. And you're going to, you're going to actually do it this way. Click yeah. on the green button. And what you're going to do is rather than, rather than setting up your budget here on the ad set level, what you're doing mm -hmm. here is you're setting up five bucks, five bucks, 25, 25, 20. You're setting up the budget on the ad set level. What you're going to want to do from this day forward is set the budget on the campaign level. So you're telling Facebook, okay, cool. So my budget is 50 bucks. I'm going to go set up 10 different ad sets and you're going to allocate those funds, Facebook, wherever you fit, wherever you fit, wherever you, you see necessary. So rather than me telling Facebook, I got five bucks, I got 25 bucks, rather than me saying I have this much per ad set, I'm going to just simply give them the ad sets and I'm going to give them the full overall budget and they're going to allocate it the way they, they okay. see it fit. And that's, so it's fifty dollars um, a day. If I have five ad sets or ten ad sets, it's they're just going to distribute it to those. Exactly, they're going to distribute it to the one that's that that's hot, right? And they won't they won't even waste the money on the ones that are not. So just so like I don't, you, so I don't have to go into the ad sets and turn off the ones that aren't. No, no, you're not going to have to. You're not going to have to. So okay. so you're going to leverage Facebook to do that. That's the new update. That's the new watch. So click on conversions, for example. Go to conversions. And then um, click on continue and you'll see it on the next uh, screen here. So scroll down. Actually, no, no, no. Go back. Go back a little bit. Actually, yeah, it's right. It's right. It should be. Actually, no, go back. Actually, no, go down. Go down. It's right there at the bottom. It's right there at the bottom. So campaign budget optimization. You're going to turn that on. You're going to turn that on and you're going to tell Facebook what the budget is here. Okay. And then and then you go set up how, however many ad sets you want. And then, and then they'll allocate it. So right here, campaign budget optimization will distribute your budget across ad sets to get more results depending on the delivery optimization choices and bid strategy. So you can control spending at each ad set. 
So do it here. Do the budget here. This is the newest, newest update. Um, okay. and, 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 and do it here. Yeah, do it here. Set it there, 50 bucks, and, and then go set up 10 different ad sets. Okay. And, and, and in your case, in your case, what I would do, I mean, it, again, it just depends on how, how global you want to go at this point. But I would for sure, if I'm going to set up 10 ad sets, five of them are going to be lookalike audiences. U.S., Canada, maybe freaking Europe, whatever, like whatever, wherever English speaking countries you guys want to be at. But that's well, should what they all be look alike audiences at this point now that we've got yes, that man, data? They, they, yeah, they should be. Yes, for sure. For sure. For sure. They should all be look alike audiences. Why don't you make that be your next test? Why don't you put your next 50 bucks towards five different look alike audiences? Do that test. Mm hmm. Do that, set that up and then schedule another call and let's review those ones. Okay. Yeah, do that, do that for sure. Awesome, okay, it'll probably be mid to late week. So uh, Yeah, it's all good, man, week. whenever. Yeah. Good. Yeah, well, sounds thanks. good, boss. Uh, hey, you got my day. number, man, so lock it in and text me or call me if you need anything, man. I'll be a phone call away. Excellent, appreciate it. Right on, Ron. Merry Christmas, brother. God bless. Yeah, you too. Thank bye -bye. you, bye-bye.